you probably would have known if I would have just read the book, but yeah, whatever. So today we're gonna learn about a story that I am still laughing about. Like I am, I am, I am, I, 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 I still snicker to myself about it. <laughs> and that is the story of the mole. So. As you're probably inundated by now with this rousing open world game that I really shouldn't be doing because it's just gonna end in heartache for me. This was in Genesis, by the way. You know, lovely system. Cheap, too. You should buy it. So they're cruising around space. They're doing the space thing. And so they decide to go to a, to a whole new sector of space. And, and, and in this universe, it, it, it was called the corporate sector. You know, just a, an entire sector of space just run by corporations. And granted, you know, I'm just, I am, I am, I am playing this up like you wouldn't believe. Ayn Rand's dream. Like, like, like everything for a price. Like, yeah, okay, yeah, you want to, you want to go inside this building and use the bathroom? Well, it's going to cost you 20 bucks to get in. And then probably five bucks to get in the bathroom. And then, you know, like three bucks to actually use the urinal. So, you know. You know, they're getting charged left and right and left and right. But the one thing that they like about it is, is like, you know, like everybody wants somebody dead. Which, you know, at this point in time, they're, you know, basically a bunch of murder hobos. It's probably not a good thing, but whatever. Yeah, somebody wants you to go to this big corporate building and, you know, kill the 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 menial labor people. You know, like the, the janitors and the, 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 the maids and, you know, people like that. I'm sure somewhere along the corporate line at another corporation, this makes sense. So they go there. Mind you, they don't have a plan. And they're like, oh, okay, well, we're going to go inside. It's like, well, you can go inside, but the guard says he's going to want like 20 bucks from each of you. Oh, well, we try to go around to the back. And like, oh yes, we're going to tell the guard that we, that, that we work here and we're just trying to go to work. And they're like, oh, okay, you work here? Fifteen dollars. Like, but we work here. Yeah, I know. If you work here, you would know it's fifteen dollars to get in the building for, for employees. They end up trying to negotiate with this guy, and it ends up like they end up having to pay like thirty-five dollars a piece or something like that to get in. And the guard just you know walks off with the money because, you know, I got mine. Where's yours? So they immediately go into this building, and I describe this building as like, ooh, it's a nice, pretty lobby that everyone comes and sees, and then like. Above that, there's like three, four, five levels of like cubicle farms, you know, office drones and meeting rooms and, you know, executive, you know, workplaces above that. And then above that, it's like like three recreations and like two levels of, of like a mall and food courts and all that stuff, you know. And then above that is like the, the, the dormitories for like five more levels. And then above that is like, you know, like all like the big pricey, you know, high executive stuff that that, that nobody is, is, is ever getting in. So... They immediately go up to the dormitory level when they realize they don't have a plan. So there they are just sitting in like the lobby of this dormitory. They think there's the, okay, what's our plan? So they start thinking around like, well, we need to get all these people in one place so we can kill them. And one of them was all about, well, why don't we just like run down the halls shooting everybody that we see that, that looks like them, which, you know, Fair enough, it's a plan, but the other one's like, you know, let's not do that. Surprisingly, they, they didn't agree to that plan. So they eventually get this idea that they're going to go down to one of the lower floors, find a computer, send an email out to all the staff that they have to kill, and tell them that they, that they have a mandatory meeting in a meeting room. Mind you, they have no idea where the meeting room is. They have no idea whose computer is what. They don't have a plan. They get to the... the the cube farm and one of them goes around and he's looking for an empty office meanwhile the other one says i go to the water cooler and start hanging out with the, with the people at the water cooler and so they're just over there having a conversation by the water cooler where finally you know one of the guys at the water cooler kind of looks over and notices that this person is not dressed for you know an office environment they're dressed for a more street style environment and they're also wearing, you know, the stereotypical, you know, armored trench coat. It's 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 actually a really cool trench coat. It's got like slots in it to let, that you can like hide stuff in. So, you know, I'm not gonna fault them on that, but yeah. 
and he just kind of looks at just kind of looks at this person and goes, "Yeah, which department do you work for? Who 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 are you?" Almost without missing a beat, just kind of goes, "The mole," and then slinks off. And this is probably one of those situations stuff where you had to be there, but like the whole like I mean that was pretty much it for the night. Like everything just stopped right there because it was just the mole. And they, and they even made this motion as 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 when they said I slink off. That's actually kind of what we call it for the night, because like I said, I didn't know what to do from there. It's just just the mole. That's pretty much it. And I guess I'll just say, uh, thank God for me. Humble as always, Dio. You know it. Of course, I'm always humble. What am I not humble? So the person who claimed to be the mole, were they wearing like big goggles? Or... No, oh, I'd have been awesome if they were wearing big goggles. <laughs> when they wear goggles. <laughs> ah, yeah, this guy, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just all that, it's just the mole. <laughs> who does that? <laughs> I guess that's the plan. The mole. <laughs> I can't stop laughing about this.